Breaking now at 5.30, a destructive fire at a campground just ruled suspicious. An SBI task force is out at this historic campground in Catawba County mm. right now. Incredible damage there. Investigators just took some samples and they're sending them off to a lab to be tested. Channel 9's Dave Faraday saw the destruction at Balls Creek Campground yesterday and he's back out there now live. Dave? And Scott, even now, two days after this fire broke out, we're still seeing families coming out here. You could see some lined across the road and there's more off in this direction, right up along that fire tape right there. Some of these families had these cabins that were destroyed out here in their families for generations. Take a look at some of this video that we shot just within the last hour. We were with sheriff deputies, SBI agents, and the Catawba County Fire Marshal's offices. They gathered late this afternoon just down the road from here. They're going door to door right now to more than 100 homes to see if anyone has surveillance cameras or saw something Sunday night when that fire broke out. 40 cabins at the Balls Creek Campground, which was first started back in the mid-1800s, were destroyed by the fire. Deputies are confirming to Channel 9 evidence was collected here and then sent to the SBI lab to be tested. I spoke with a sheriff a short time ago about efforts to find out what happened here. This is near and dear to these folks in this area and uh, so I've had multiple calls, you know, concerns, want to know where we are and, and what's going on with the case and uh, so it's uh, it's very important to these folks down here and I, I want to say my heart goes out to these these folks. And again, those deputies are going door to door right now in this community, about a mile off in this direction, a mile off in this direction on the road that goes right by the campground. I'm told that a meeting is scheduled for 630 tonight for leaders of this campground. That meeting is set for the Catawba County Justice Center at Emergency Services, again, starting at 630. Back to you.